Greetings with lovers everywhere. Hey, I'm e and welcome to e Talks. Thank you so much for joining me on my reading journey. Here on e Talks, I read, review, and discuss everything books in the hopes of inspiring others to love novels, picture books, everything about reading as much as I do. Let's get started. I'm just going to start by saying I was totally captivated by the enthralling novel, The Blameless, from start to to finish. The story begins in the crumbling city of Perdonia. It was a night like any other, a typical night in the peaceful kingdom. After a bustling workday, the townspeople were settling down, dimming the lights, and getting ready for bed. But in the blink of an eye, peace turns to war. An army of loyal soldiers led by the evil Valic infiltrated the kingdom, slashing and smashing anyone who stood in their way. Valak, fueled by jealousy and rage, had been planning for years and years to take over Perdonia, so he could rule the kingdom with an iron fist. And finally, the time had come to lead this brutal attack. Meanwhile, as the invasion was ensuing, 13-year-old Princess Brianna was being tucked into bed by her big brother, the heir to the throne, and her parents, the king and queen of Perdonia. But in an instant... The sounds of piercing screams and dueling swords fills the air. At first, the princess is in shock and too terrified to move, as her parents and brother are slaughtered. But then, she hears her parents yell their final words, run. So she does. She dashes through secret passages, dodging obstacles along the way, and makes her way onto the streets of Bredonia managing to escape into a blacksmith shop. But slowly, a shadowy figure emerges in the window, holding a lantern and banging on the door. Terrified, she freezes, and the figure sees her and breaks down the door. Who is this person? Are their intentions good or evil? You'll just have to read The Blameless to find out. I love all the mysteries surrounding the villains, and the heroes for that matter, in The Blameless. This book is full of adventure and intrigue, and unlike many other novels I've read, the protagonists know next to nothing about the villain, which adds to the mystique. And it also means that the readers are learning along with the main character, Princess Brianna. Such a novel way to write an epic novel. Cheers to E.S. Christensen for writing such a page-turning descriptive tale. Oh. You thought I was going to share some spoilers, didn't you? No way. You absolutely need to read The Blameless. I recommend The Blameless to every single reader everywhere. Middle schoolers, young adults, and adults. The Blameless is an exciting tale that will be treasured by all. The story is full of classic attention-grabbing themes like friendship, acceptance, and family. Like many of my favorite novels. And of course... There are battle scenes, tons of adventures, and even some mythology. Such a great read, a 10 out of 10 book. E.S. Criticism's writing not only draws readers in on the adventure, but it's a story that stays with you. It's a keeper, and now on my list of best reads. That's all for today, everyone. Thanks for listening to my review of E.S. Criticism's novel, The Blameless, book one. Stay tuned, because there might just be an interview with the author in the coming months. Until then, keep reading, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.